Okay, do a video today to update the other video we did it um, on the height adjustment on with the gap tool on our Land Rover Discovery 4. So, um, Ian did a little pointy thing. We did a video um, last week on how to adjust it, but some eagle-eyed viewer pointed out we were using the down-level version of the IID diagnostics. Um, so we've updated it. So this screen here is the old version, not that one. That one, there you go. That's the old version. So if you've got all these arrows going on down here that's the old version right we'll show you what the new version looks like so if you open up the app um, there we go go on to that one let it do its checks and then if you go height adjust it should look like this now if you've got the old version you just need to plug your tool into your computer and do the update it's free update you got to log in and everything as you did when you set it up. Set okay, it up. Um, just, just update it. Yeah, so if you've got any problems with that, get onto Gap Diagnostics, but you should be seeing this screen. Now, it always shows you the new Range Rover, regardless of whether you've got a Discovery or whatever, but don't be put off by that. But what the cool thing is about this is... Sorry, whoever that was, um, is not that. It's the um, it's the fact that you, you come up. Now, it did say... Uh, so. It says settings one, two, and three, and what this allows you to do is save your three favourite height settings um, as a sorry your three favourite height settings. Now we've called this one ferry because when we go on the ferry, we've got to go um, below one point eight three meters. So on that one, we've made some adjustments, and if you go into this, you can see um, what it does. Hold up. So if you double tap it, you can adjust it, okay? And we've got minus 25 and minus 25. So that means that for all the settings, so when we're in the off-road mode, the jacked up mode, which is, which you select here, when you're in this raised mode, we're 25 millimeters lower. Compared to standard. Compared to the standard factory ride right height. Normal is 25 mil, mil lower, than, lower the than the normal drop. And then the access mode, which is what we put it in when we're going on the ferry, it's 25 millimeters lower than the standard access mode. So this is really good. So rather than having to go and select it, you select it once and then you can save it. Now, there is this little thing at the moment. So if I go up or down on this now, I can go and both axles change the same amount. It's, yeah, they haven't done it very well, but you can see it's 27, 27. If I go down again, it's 28, 28. I'm going to put it to 25, 25, like it was. If it'll go 20, am I not? 27. Sorry, I'm just 27. Go on, 20. My touch screens. Oh, there you go, 25. And then what I can do is save that. So if you can see that there, save. And that saved it now. So. So that one is saved, so I can, and, but you can't change default. So the default one, if you select default there, that is factory. You can't change that. You can press and hold that. You can't change it. But all these others, and the other cool thing is if you go to one to change it, press and hold it, you can see we haven't set this one yet. You can change it, and then you can also change the name of it. So where it says setting three here, if I go there and tap it, I can then change the name of that so you could have like up high low rider whatever you want to call it um getting in your garage if you've got a really low garage you could set that um, and do that so that's what the new setting does um this bit in the middle sorry i don't explain that i started to explain it this means it's locked so whatever your back or your car go up or down they go together these two numbers go up and down if you sever the link, there's a little red line you probably can't see. There's a little red line come up there, and we've now severed the link. So we could go um, we could go up at the back and down at the front, which would make it go downhill all the time, which may improve fuel economy. I'm joking. Mm. Um, but you could make it look like you were going along like some sort of dragster or something, if you wish. And then what you do is you save that one, and that's saved. And then you just... When you want to select one, so if I want to select the... Uh, if we go back to default. If we go back to default, and I, I want to... Yeah, I don't know what we're on at the minute. Yeah, I don't know what we're on. And then program. we go program that, and it says update vehicles to changes. Update changes to vehicle, sorry. Right. That is now, so now you can see I'm at default. I don't know if we need to start the car for... Let's a... give a... <laughs> 
Uh -huh. Let's see if we can start the car. Okay, and then it, it may well do some height adjustment. Yeah. There we go, so it's just dropped to, so it's now reset its height to, to what it should be as standard in normal mode, which is what we're in at the minute. So that's now factory. But then if we were come... So if we want to go on the ferry... ferry we just plug our tool in, select it. You can see it's gone green around the one we want to select. It hasn't done anything yet until you hit program. You hit program and it says update changes. We're going to go, yep. It's loading those. It's secured, continue. And then hopefully, yep, it's I dropping. Know if you've to see that on video. Yeah, but yeah, but it, it's just... dropped it now. And then to go on the ferry, what we will then have to do is select this one here. So we go down and then, which will lower it again. What we also need to do is press and hold this till that lock button comes on. It's giving me some error. Access height it's selected. selected. There. And then you and hold that, it till the lock comes on. And that allows you to drive. Oh, it didn't like it for some reason, but you should better hold that. There you go. And that should hold it in that. There you go. Yeah. Suspension lock to access height. Height, yeah. Um, so that will hold it there until you do something like 20 miles an hour and then it will go up. So hopefully that's explain what the new menu does and how it works on your ID tool. It's just a lot quicker to swap between different settings. Good luck.